So in this video, I'm going to talk about the anatomy of blood. And so to start off with, blood is the only liquid connective tissue. And that's kind of what makes blood unique. And essentially what blood does is it transports cells and dissolve matter from place to place. And obviously blood is made up of many different components and I've given you a diagram right below and so pretty much first we're gonna talk about plasma so let me just erase all of this and so plasma is essentially what in the diagram right there it's like the yellow looking stuff and it's normally a kinda pale yellowish liquid and it's also the blood's ground substance so pretty much what you need to know about plasma is that it's blood's liquid ground substance and essentially all of the other stuff is carried in the plasma so it's pretty important and it actually makes up over about 55 percent of your blood so it's also the most abundant component in your blood and so pretty much it's all of this like yellow let me use a different thing all of this yellow ish stuff oh, that's a platelet so it's the liquid next let's talk about red blood cells probably the most well-known thing in blood and so as you can see these red blood cells are they essentially look like flattened donuts but without the hole in the middle so in the diagram below they're the little red discs and red blood cells don't have nuclei at least in mammals red blood cells lack the nuclei and they are also really important for transportation of oxygen as well as carbon dioxide and remember that red blood cells are made inside your bones more specifically in the bone marrow and hemoglobin is the protein in your blood in the red blood cells that specifically carries the oxygen and so next let's talk about white blood cells and so the white blood cells help with defense and they have nuclei and they are also they have a distinct type so you could differentiate the types by the way they stain and so a couple so all of the arrows that I've drawn are different types of white blood cells for example basophils neutrophils lymphocytes they're all subcategories of white blood cells so they're all considered white blood cells but we're not gonna talk specifically about them yet we're just gonna say that white blood cells in general just help with defense and so finally let's talk about the last thing um, the last component of blood which are platelets and so platelets are essentially they're just cell fragments that are involved in clotting as well as other means to minimize blood loss so the main purpose of platelets is to minimize blood loss and one way they can minimize blood loss is they can secrete growth factors which are just signals that cause new cells to be made but these growth factors can promote the growth of blood vessels and so that pretty much sums it up for blood as a connective tissue and I hope this video helped you if it did please give it a like and share it with your friends